In a momentous political change, former economic freedom fighters, EFF, national organizer Mabatho Mokuz, a Northern Cape member of parliament, MP, has formally joined the Jacob Zuma Yumkanto Wisiswi, MK, party. Before we continue, please kindly subscribe to our channel, turn on the notification bell, so as to get all our updates. The announcement by Mokaz coincides with rumors that Floyd Shivambu, the former deputy president of the EFF, is aggressively courting well-known members of his old party to defect and join the MK party, particularly those who were left off of the EFF's parliamentary list for the next round of elections. Mokaz, a well-known personality in the political scene in the Northern Cape, was an essential element of the EFF leadership team and played a key role in planning party events around the province. Given her long-standing membership in the EFF and her significant position within the party, her choice to join the MK party has drawn criticism from some in the political community. According to insiders, Mokha's decision to leave the EFF was motivated by a growing sense of discontent among some members who felt left out of the party's 2024 national candidate selection process. Mokaz is said to have found a new political home in the MK party, which has been establishing itself as a strong force ahead of the elections. Mokaz was noticeably missing from the final parliamentary list. Mokaz announced her intention to join the MK party in a statement that was made public on Monday. She gave as her reason for wanting to be a part of a movement that shares her outlook on the future of South Africa. My commitment to the fight for social justice and economic freedom has never wavered. Mokaz said, after giving it some thought, I think the MK party, led by President Jacob Zuma, is best positioned to advance these ideals. She also conveyed her appreciation to the EFF for the experiences and opportunities she had while working for the party. According to reports, Floyd Shivambu, who recently made news for himself by joining the MK party, has played a significant role in luring former EFF members to the fledgling organization. One of the EFF's most powerful leaders and founding member, Shivambu, is allegedly using his connections inside the organization to entice disenchanted members to join the MK party. Shivambu has reportedly been contacting prominent EFF members who were left off of the party's parliamentary list, offering them a position in the MK party where their contributions would be respected, according to people familiar with the matter. The MK Party's recruiting campaign is seen as a component of a larger plan to reinforce its ranks with seasoned MPs in advance of the elections. Shivambu's aggressive recruiting efforts combined with Mokha's departure might have a big impact on the EFF, especially in the Northern Cape where she was a major force. Although Mokha's defection has not yet received an official reaction from the EFF, Party sources speculate that she may be the first to go as the MK Party continues its recruiting drive. Political observers have pointed out that the MK Party's ability to draw a sizable number of disgruntled EFF members might indicate a change in the political climate in South Africa as a result of the defections. After gathering momentum since its founding, the MK Party is now ready to take on more established political parties in the next elections, such as the EFF. All eyes will be on the MK Party to see how it takes advantage of the flood of new members like Mokaz as the political realignment unfolds. The EFF's task will be to remain together while attending to the grievances of members who experience marginalization inside the organization. Mokha's choice to join the MK party represents the changing political landscape in South Africa and opens a new chapter in her political career. The effects of these changes will probably be noticed in the next weeks and months, as the 2024 elections get near. Once more, leader of the Economic Freedom Fighters, EFF, Julius Malima, said bluntly on Monday that his party would have died if it had joined the government of national unity, CNU. Malima made a clear assessment of the ramifications of such a move at a news conference held at the EFF offices in Johannesburg. He called it a trap meant to undermine the EFF's power. Malima said that the GNU's formation after the general elections of 2024 was a calculated action by the Democratic Alliance, DA, and the governing African National Congress, ANC to seize power and muzzle opposition voices. Malima said, We would have been absorbed whole by the system if we had joined the GNU. The radical position, identity, and eventually relevance of the EFF would have been gone. The EFF would not have survived if it had joined the GNU. The head of the EFF 